We have done first part of the color chart and now it's the time for the second part so i just quickly show you the first part and that was 143 44 45 6 7 8 9 150 51 52 53 54 <laughs> all those numbers There is a video on that, so I'm just going to roughly show you those colors. And now we are going to do 171. So to save the time, I already painted... Oh, that's lovely. I already painted the numbers on the tips. And I'm using the clear ones just so you can guys really see the coverage of it. That's really beautiful. I actually have this color on my nails. I think it's amazing. So when possible, I will try to do it on the one coat as well. So you can guys uh, see the coverage uh, of it. So that's 172. It's like a metallic one. Seventy-three. So that's the white. And it's not um, too bad when it comes to the coverage. Whites and blacks are always really hard, like for the coverage. So you can see how this one goes on. But the fact I loved uh, the most about it is the shade of white because it is really like a tic tac white so it's a nice nice shade it doesn't go on with the one coat definitely not you need two coats of the white uh, but black is amazing I usually do it one coat uh, on the nails so 174 and I love this one like I think it's amazing look guys at this coverage in you know, a one coat for a red is absolutely uh, fantastic like really nice 175 that's some glitter it just sparkles multicolor here we are okay so five at a time just so we don't do too much and then second coat i love this one 171 like i love it and i have also put it on top of the black it looks really nice as well but i love it on its own too really really nice 172 not mine kind of course but uh, we had similar color from the previous neil perfect range and the clients was loving those kind of metallic colors especially older ladies i think uh, they they love those metallic colors so probably a really nice uh, color for that type of clientele then the white again And doesn't matter, like, so normally the gel polish is cures in um, 30 seconds, an LED light, and two minutes, and UV light. I like to cure my gel polishes 60 seconds, always. I mean, I'm not quick enough to even apply the gel polish in 30 seconds before the client swaps hand. So my lamp is set up for 60 seconds. And uh, that always gives me a really long lasting color. So I love this color. Like, and it's so popular in a salon. Like, clients choose it a lot. I think it's a definitely a must have. So, 174. Uh, definitely a must have color. And I'm trying to be, guys, with you, like, as much honest as possible. There will be one color which I will apply. And I will say, like, to be honest, I think it's a waste of money. And we will get to this color soon as well. Um, in general, um, all the products I'm uh, using, um, that's my favorite products. Like, if there is something which I don't like, um, I just 
don't use it and I don't stock it. So if there is a new stuff coming out from the Neil Perfect, I will just buy it like one uh, of one item. And then if I like it and I have tested in the salons on my clients and I like how it's last, how it's behave, uh, then I stock it more. So um, that's a kind of another tip for you guys. Like I'm really trying to uh, keep in stock and uh, show you only the products which uh, I like. Uh, so you know they are fine, they are tested, they are going to last on the clients and uh, that's a wee tip for you. But this one is a really nice one, like I, I love it. I had it on my nails and uh, with the clear Swarovski crystals and with the black gel polish, it was looking uh, fantastic. There's actually a tutorial on those nails on the channel as well and um, also if you see me first time go back guys and check uh, some previous tutorials there is about 500 videos on this channel like a lot it's going to clean my brush there we are um so there is lots of lots of tutorials on this channel to go back and check okay so that's the white. I got two stuck together. What a shame. It did happen to me last time when I was doing color chart as well. My favorite color, um, which I really liked it, uh, it got touched as well. Typical. I should watch those favorite colors. It's funny, like I love it, but I, I don't think so. I suit red. Um, I like red nails, but I feel weird with the red nails. And red is such a classic color. Um, so this one, guys, is having a, a see-through glitter. So I think it will be perfect like for a, a Christmas time when we want to have just like a wee accent on top of the nails uh, with the glitter. This. Oh, there we are. Oh, that's nice. So I had to get the camera out of focus to see the sparkle. I like it because it's nice and multicolored one. Okay, let me put them into the ring. I might actually... Yeah, why not use this one? So, top coat. No, that's a second layer. It actually looks quite nice on the one layer. I'm impressed. 176, quite nice in the one layer. And it's interesting color because it's... It actually is interesting color. <laughs> not my cup of tea. Um, I'm not the fan of purples, like uh, darker shades, but this color looks like it's a cream color, uh, but it is not 100% cream. So it's not too shimmery, not too pearly, but also not too creamy. It's kind of in between. Pretty interesting. There we are. 171 is cooked, and I love this one. 172. Hundred and seventy-three and four. And then we've got this one. So we can also paint another colors. Hundred seventy-seven. Mm, and again, they. I think I will have a client which would love this color as well. Probably if... See, usually I also find it that if we've got the um, gel polish which have been used quite a few times, um, the consistency is even better. So I think I could get away probably with the one coat of those previous color. This one will need to, uh, may, yes, this one will need two coats as well. It's quite nice color. I like those kind of shades. And then we've got the color, which I love, but I don't like the idea of it. So it's called Sugar Sparkle. And sugar, you guys know, sugar is like a glitter, which is a bit of rough. And I think that's what uh, this gel polish is. So I really like the color of it, but you can see it. The sugar is inside the gel polish, which like we tiny sparkle in there. And I'm not sure if I'm 
fun of it because it's a sparkle which is encapsulated in a glitter so I feel like it is hard to go on I'm not sure if I will be using it uh, I think it would be annoying me it's a really pretty colors and uh, and I'm gutted about it um, that they put those sparkle in there because if I would want an extra sparkle in the color I will just put it on top of it on my own okay this one is really see-through let me see see I find that those darks burgundy colors they usually kind of seal through um, yes really see through 180 oh no and I even touched it let's get rid of that yeah I'm not fan of this one that's why it's smudged so bad <laughs> So I'm just quickly going to buff it. This is going to be disaster with this tip. But just because I didn't like it, I think that's the only reason. Probably the color after we do two, three coats will be nice. Let me fix this one. It's actually already look better. But I think I would be avoiding this color. <laughs> I'm just not fan of like uh, too many layers to be honest guys so 177 that has nice consistency like really creamy it's not too thick and it's very quick and easy to apply like really easy nice not my color 100% maybe depending on the time of the year but it did pass the test really well with the coverage then we've got candy floss you have been seeing me guys using this one it's a quite nice color uh, it's a bit shimmery as well like maybe not shimmery as pearly i would describe it pearly a little bit pearly a really nice coverage too hundred seventy nine again so yeah, it's such a shame, like, can you see it, guys? It's, it's, you can see those texture, and of course, when the top coat goes over it, you don't see it as much, but I can, I don't know, like, nice color, but wrong idea. <laughs> and hundred. 176 needs just a top coat. I have actually scratched it, it really bad. Well, let's put top coat to hide it. Really nice color, actually. Nice color, nice coverage. 180, the bad one. I mean bad. Yes, bad. Nice color, but the color coverage isn't as good. Okay, we've got 181. Oh, and that's some Christmas sparkle. Some sparkly red. It's a quite nice sparkle. No top coated. So top coat on all the colors we have painted. And again, guys, from these colors, you can write in the comments below which are your favorite colors. And I'm pretty curious to see like um how many people will choose the same colors and I think it will be nice even to write your country because uh, probably in different countries different colors are popular see guys uh, it actually doesn't look as bad <laughs> as I thought it's going to look because of the texture of it
180 the one I didn't like but I will have lots of clients for this color okay 176 is ready Hundred eighty one second coat. I think that's quite nice for Christmas, like it is really nice. We've got hundred eighty two. Ghost House. I I don't think so. I have ever used this color. I didn't. I didn't. Of course, it's some green. Actually, quite popular uh, this uh, season. My green is quite popular this season. Cook it in. This one is ready. Hundred seventy-seven. 178 and I really like this one 79 as I say shame because um, actually it does see on the color chart I would probably pick it because it looks nice uh, it was just the consistency uh, of it because of the sugar sparkle 183 that's the black ink and I love this one because it says so beautiful black like really nicely pigmented and most of the time I use it in a one coat in general black always remember has to be applied really nice and thin but look at this coverage like in a one coat it's absolutely amazing So, 180 top coated, 181 needs the top coat, oh and this one could cure a bit longer because I've got quite a lot of left on my brush. It didn't wrinkle which means it is cured but maybe just a bit too short time so that was 181 okay 182 quickly second coat yeah it's a really like I'm bottle green so that was 182 and then 183 so I'm just going to go straight away with the top coat one coat is plenty I love it that's why I love it so much cook it 183 really beautiful black like I totally love it 184 oh it's actually quite nice color guys uh, we have done it in a salon recently on a client and I loved it as well 184 oh. Dorota Behif Behif 184 really nice color and look at the coverage guys as well amazing like really amazing wow 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 really perfect like one coat as well and it just shows you guys even if a brand is the same it can be so different so this 180 like i have applied three coats and you can see it guys like 
it isn't the nicest I would say and then 183 and 184 such as nice uh, one coat coverage it just shows you like it's nice to see it actually in uh, action <laughs> this one top coat it needs top coat yeah this one was a medium coverage it wasn't too bad but also it wasn't as creamy uh, consistency this one i think one coat is really plenty so does the black really beautiful 185 so 185 and I can already by the look of it see it as quite nice as well really nice color too okay 182 been top coated here we are 183 my favorite black and it's amazing like really nice uh, coverage and this was just one coat like on the clear tip and then we've got 186 So 186, but it looks really wow. So that's nice green and amazing coverage as well. Wow, well impressed. 186, one coat, definitely only one coat. And then 185, so just a second coat over it. And then we can top coat them. So cook it in. Okay. Key, so 8384 to coat it. Really nice color. Let's do 8787. So that's light latte. Oh, I love this color. I really do love this color, guys. Like it's so beautiful. And it has amazing coverage and you have seen me working with it so much as well. One of my favorites. Uh, one coat plenty as well. Usually, depending like, I mean, sometimes I will put still two coats. Sometimes I will put one, but uh, amazing coverage. 187, light latte. I love that color. So we've got 185 already. Then 188, 189, and 190. So I'm using just a Sharpie markers. Uh, 188 is a glitter. And actually, I like those glitters, the coverage. Uh, that's quite nice as well. Really beautiful glitter. Yes, yeah, really nice. Rosy gold. 189 Twinkle Little Princess. <laughs> Gosh, they must have a hard time like picking up all those names. It must be really so difficult. So that's quite nice. Pink sparkle as well. Cook it in. Okay, and then 190 Shine Bright. So 190. Oh, and that's a really nice color. Wow, wow, wow. Such a nice gold shade. I love it. Like, I don't like those yellow gold um, look colors. So this one was really nice. Now let me put the top coat over the previous ones. So that's another range of the colors, guys. You can see it and quite, actually quite a lot of them have been done with the one coat especially those from the hundred from starting from black 
um, they look really decent in a one coat i mean this one one coat as well and uh, i love this color as i'm totally in love with this color like it's so so nice my clients really love this color too and it's it's picked really uh, often by them so we've got 188 second coat so yes those glitters i would apply them in a two coats just because they're glittery they've got clear base um but it looks really nice rosy gold i'm actually so happy like to try them out like all as well like when you, you can really see and compare them uh, 89 princess pink princess it has some smaller sparkles and it also has a slightly bigger sparkle as well. So pretty interesting and a quite good coverage. You know, sometimes the glitter can be really tricky and um, and don't look nice. And then we've got 190. I'm in love with this color because it has small sparkle and it has a large sparkle. And it is just a perfect shade of the gold, like really really nice see i hope the camera doesn't lie too much about the colors uh because that's also another problem sometimes some things looks different um in the camera than it does in the real life so now we've got 186 and then i'm going quickly top coat the rest of them so this one top coat on and in the next part of uh, color chart, I will show you the uh, other colors as well. So we will be doing from 191. Then I think doing this amount of the color is just plenty, just so you don't keep you bored. And so you can really see them um, rather than trying to do too much uh, in a one video. So there we are, top coat over this one. And then let's them cook. So 187 must have. Like, I mean, I'm guys, I'm so honest. <laughs> I'm trying to be so honest with you when I'm showing you colors and everything. Like, so, so far, 171. I love it. This one is quite nice. It wasn't too bad to apply. 73, I like the shade of it. It isn't one coat, unfortunately. I think it will be a dream for every nail technician to have a uh, one coat white. Uh, 74, amazing to work with. That's quite interesting as well. 76, quite nice to uh, put on. They have been quite nice to put on. 178, I'm not sure about that. 180, probably the worst from them. So 180 and 181 didn't cure well. Um, I could see the color bin on my brush 184 amazing 82 not the best coverage not too bad either just a medium kind of quality I would say uh, absolutely fantastic 183 black one coat like no see-through um, those all this color range you can see it even like this is a one coat guys like so amazing and then we've got 188 sparkle Really nice. Actually, this two goes together so nice. Look, guys. So you've got like full set of this color and then ring finger in this color. Absolutely amazing. And then another sparkly one and another one. This one is so nice too. Um, I like to actually join the colors, uh, you know, so uh, this sparkle will look so nice. Actually, oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. This will look so nice with the color I love, 158. That looks nice too. Those two together, definitely. Okay, that's that's uh, this part of the color chart. And then I will do the third uh, video. And then on the third video, I will also show you them as well. I hope you have guys really enjoyed uh, watching it. And I'm looking forward to reading your comments with the favorite uh, numbers of the colors. Sending you glittery accent. Bye for now.